Well, Eric Wolford is going to be a key coach for Alabama in the 2023 season. And we need to talk about it. But if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel. And it helps me grow as a content creator. Well, Eric Wolford, guys, uh, has done a phenomenal job since he's been with us at Alabama. Has brought in some great online talent from the 2023 recruiting class. And he already has another commitment in the 2025 class in Mason Short. A 6'6", 300-pound offensive lineman from the state of Georgia. So uh, he's doing a phenomenal job while he's there, guys. And um, He's going to be a key, in my opinion, component for this upcoming season. Uh, we already know how our O-line struggled in 2021 under Doug Marone. And um, O-line play just was uh, horrific that season, just to be honest. Uh, we gave up too many uh, pressures on the quarterback. And I wasn't able to really run the ball like we used to. But um, last season, we had some uh, success. Uh, not where we wanted it to be, but um, this upcoming season, guys, um, Eric Wolf is going to be tasked with getting this O-line uh, right because uh, everything's going to come down on this O-line, in my opinion. Everything starts up front on both sides of the ball. And um, we're going to have a uh, – to get that line, you know, up the par, considering we're going to have two new, you know, guys competing for the quarterback position. If I'm not mistaken, it's been a while since we had, you know, a competition at the quarterback position. And I think the last time was, I want to say, 2000, I want to say 16. Yeah, the 20, either the 2015 or 2016 season. I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, I believe that was the season where uh, we had Blake Barnett and we had, Jalen Hurts that year, and uh, we all know Jalen Hurts became the guy. But uh, it's going to be interesting to see what he does this upcoming season. Uh, the last good coach we had was Kyle Flood. You know, he's now over there at Texas uh, Longhorns. But uh, we're going to have to be tasked with getting our O-line straight this season, guys. I think a lot's going to start with the O-line. Uh, I expect the O-line to be really, really good this season with Eric Wolford. Uh, I expect Alabama to get back to the run game. And, um, I'm going to just give you a little background on uh, Eric Wolford, uh, how, how good of a coach he is. Um, he's 50 years old, so um, he's been around uh, football for a while. Uh, he has SEC experience. Uh, he brings that style, you know, resembling, you know, Joe Pendry and uh, Coach Stoutland. So we all know Pendry uh, was a beast for us as a coach back in the 2011 era. And, um, really, really good O-line coach, so. He brings that to the Alabama Crimson Tide. And also Eric Warford, you know, uh, he was a mauler and a master in college football himself when he played. So uh, he played the position. He knows what it takes uh, to be ready on the old line. And um, that's why I'm very, very excited about this upcoming season with him. And um, not to mention in his long season at Kentucky, he was able to get that uh, old line uh, national, uh, you know, being recognized as one of the best O-lines in the country. And he did that within a year's time. So Eric Worf is a really, really good O-line coach. And uh, he's going to bring that intensity in. Uh, J.C. Latham has uh, had an interview, and uh, there was asking questions about the O-line. He already said that this O-line wants to, you know, punch people in the mouth. And uh, I'm very, very excited with this class we just had come in and also with the current guys that we have on the uh, on the team. So, like I said, he has experience uh, in college football, but also in the NFL. He was with the Arizona Cardinals in 1994. And, uh, and he has 21 years of experience with the offensive linemen. So, uh, all the knowledge in the world. He was a graduate assistant at Kansas State. Uh, he coached at South Florida, Houston, North Texas, Arizona, Illinois, and South Carolina twice. Uh, then he came to Kentucky, and then we was able to pick him up. Uh, really, really good uh, O-line coach. And also, he was a head coach for four years. Uh, I'm sorry, five years, from 2010 to 2014 at Youngstown State. Uh, not a, you know, big school, but still the experience. You know, he even got head coaching experience. So, you know, Eric Wolford's offensive line units has produced six 1,000-yard running backs including, you know, Chris Rodriguez while he was at Kentucky from 2021. So uh, he can produce, guys. He's a really, really good coach. Uh, he posted 1,379 yards rushing and nine touchdowns 
on 225 carries. That was uh, Chris Rodriguez while he was at Kentucky. And um, they had a veteran group that year also. And um, like I said, you know, had all those guys like Darian Kennard, Dare Rosenthal, and Luke Fortner. And they became finalists for the Joe Moore Award. So like I was saying, you know, within that year's time, you know, finalists for the Joe Moore Award, that goes to the best offensive lineman in the country. And uh, Kentucky's offensive line helped, you know, them score 40-plus points in five games, and they averaged 5.5, uh, 51 yards per carry. And um, they led the SEC, and they ranked fourth in the nation for rushing offense. So Alabama fans, we should be very, very excited about Eric Wolford, you know, our current O-line coach. He's been there. Uh, he improved the O-line last season. And um, also uh, his unit, while he's with the Wildcats, they was excellent in short yardage situations on third and fourth downs. And um, they was converting 66.7% per, uh, percent on attempts. Very, very good stat, guys. Um, let us know that we'll be able to get, you know, a yard when we need to. It's been times at Alabama, you know, these last couple of seasons, but we can't even get a yard. You know, uh, very embarrassing for the Alabama Crimson Tide, you know, on the O-line. And, um, that's not Bama football, you know. We used to run the ball at will, but uh, having him, guys, uh, coach the old line, I'm very, very optimistic about him. You know, like I said, we improved. And also, Will Levis was there. You know, uh, they protected him for nearly 3,000 passing yards with 2,812 with 24 touchdowns. So, uh, Will Levis was able to pass the ball as well. So, um, really, really good old line. Uh, Levis took 22 sacks, which was 17 fewer than Bryce Young's 39. And, you know, during that, you know, time, uh, Bryce Young was there. So um, just another year on his, you know, on his belt, I expect this offensive line to be really, really good. And um, like I said, he fits that dominant, you know, smash mouth style that saving likes. And um, like I said, like the, the greats. Joe Pendry and, and Stoutland. Uh, this O-line is going to be really, really good. And um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen, uh, especially in the uh, A-Day game. Like I said, A-Day game is going to be uh, vanilla, you know, play calling. But um, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. But what do you guys think about Eric Wolford? You know, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. And once again, guys, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.